In this video, I will extract intergenic sequences from an annotated bacterial genome. I will do this using Artemis. To do this, I first downloaded annotation files from RAST. I used both the Excel and GenBank annotations. Opening the Artemis Genome Explorer. First select Bacterial. Then open the RAST Genome Annotation file. Now the Explorer is open. Go to, Create in the drop-down menu, and select, Intergenic Features. Next, deselect the annotated features as shown. With only the Intergenic Features now highlighted, press the Select tab, then, hit All. Now press on File, then select Right. Next, select bases of the selection. The nucleotide sequences can then be saved as a file in FASTA format. In the next part, I will carry out a search of the FASTA sequences. I am hoping to find a promoter sequence, this has been documented in published literature. Promoters are normally located upstream of genes. I am hoping that, by only searching the intergenic sequences, I will be able to avoid false search hits. These are the published promoter sequences. I am specifically interested in the one highlighted in blue. I will use a program called FIAMO to search the intergenic sequences. FIAMO can search for DNA motifs similar to those in the promoter sequence. Here is the promoter sequence. Opening up FIAMO online. The promoter and intergenic sequences can be uploaded to the web page. In the Advanced Options tab, the p-value can be adjusted. This allows for less similar hits to be filtered out. Looking at the output, a single hit has been identified, more may have been identified by adjusting the p-value. The coordinates of the intergenic region are also shown. According to the paper, the promoter is for the pilus gene pili. Using the FIAMO coordinates. And looking at the RAST annotations in Excel format. The pilus gene can be seen, highlighted in blue. The hit identified by FIAMO occurs just before the pilus gene. It is a strong hit and, in the perfect place for a promoter sequence. A clustal alignment of the promoter sequence and, the sequence identified from the intergenic regions highlights this. I hope you have found this interesting, I have certainly found extracting intergenic sequences using Artemis useful. I will try this method out on a few more things in the future.